what's up you guys welcome to my channel i am pam the first time ever i've got my husband here hello everyone wow. <laughs> this is sebastian ready ready so usually on a friday i would have a south african true crime video up but this is the more chill side of my channel. So come in and sit and make yourself feel at home. Welcome to our home. Boom. So if South African true crime is something that you're interested in, check out my playlist in the description box below. Today I have my husband with me because we are going to be playing Never Have I Ever. <laughs> Um, we just googled the questions right now, so we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so just a mini introduction about us. We have been married for three years and together for four years. And how long we've known each other? Seven years. A lot of years. We've got two kids, a two-year-old and a seven-month-old. What else? And I'm funnier. So we are going to go through a few of the questions that we found online. And you are allowed to give a little story time for like a minute if you want to. If it pertains to a question that you can relate to. But like for one minute. Otherwise, we're going to be here for hours. Okay. Let's get into this video. Wow! Never have I ever fallen in love. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I've wanted to be times. What? <laughs> have you or have you not? <laughs> Why I are you said laughing? one too many times. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those smurfs that actually wears his heart on his sleeves. Well, it ends here. <laughs> well, I'm still in love with you. Yeah. It shouldn't end. <laughs> As you should. I have once before. Before me or before? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously before you. Mm. But it was like years and years ago. Was it? No. <laughs> Never have I ever looked up an ex on social media more than once. No, you did. No. Maybe once, not more than once. I've never. I like, think. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. You... Never have I ever insulted someone because of the way they look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you know what I forgot to say. <laughs> <laughs> I always insult people. Oh gosh. I think I think everybody has. Let's not even lie to each other. Never have I ever had a crush on two people at once. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, let me just confess. I've had a dirty past. It doesn't matter. I have. Yes, I have. Never have I ever stood someone up. I have. I I've have. never. I have. So. No, I've never. No, I have. So, one of my virtual. <clears throat> oh my god. One of my virtual lovers, if I can call it, because I invited them to dinner. <laughs> so I told them I'd be wearing certain <laughs> set of clothing, and I wasn't. <laughs> I told them I was driving a certain car, and I wasn't. I told them we're sitting at certain table and I wasn't. So, because I know there are trolls out there, I looked at the person from a mile away and I drove back home, went to bed, and balance history. No, I've never. Never have I ever ghosted someone by text. Ugh, all the time. <laughs> you ghost me. <laughs> I am the person who will always reply to you <laughs> sometimes always. i forget 
Sometimes she forgets to text me and she says, Oh, I did it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never have I ever met someone on a dating app. You just told that story. I just told that story. <laughs> I've never because there are killers out there. I met too many people. Also, you know you're bored with life and you've had no aspirations yeah, whatsoever. You, you were but too bored. Never have I ever kissed a stranger. <laughs> I have. I mean, we like we want, but like you, we didn't know each other personally. Then he was a stranger. Like we just knew each other's faces. Then he was a stranger. <laughs> so I went to the club once. <laughs> You know the lights are super super dark in this club, so I thought this person was someone else. <laughs> so I was kissing this person in the club, and then I said, "Okay, let's go and get a drink." So we go to the bar, and then this bar has lights, obviously. <laughs> so I rock up. <laughs> I'm like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice one for you. Never have I ever fallen in love at first sight. No. No. I don't believe in that. <laughs> Were you expecting me to say yes for you? Yes. Never have I ever told my partner that they remind me of one of their parents. You see, this one is my mother in male form. I thought I was getting away from Monica. Oh my gosh, they are exactly the same. Never have I ever had a crush for more than a year. I've had a crush for three years I mean, and it didn't go anywhere <laughs> so I just wasted my time You wasted all three years <laughs> You could have been looking for me This was in high school so No, not three years It's too long time for me to be diverting energy in some I don't know no. A little bit of more backstory from us So, Pamela and I well so you know you guys know this much we were we are married for three years we're together for four years we know each other for about seven years okay um what you don't know is that we lived in the same area as children and we did not know we mm. went to the same primary school and, and we did not know, know. Mm. and um another fun fact is that we are born on the same day which is 364 days apart. Never have I ever kept a partner's item of clothing so that I can sniff it. Okay, me. So, Pam doesn't know this earlier. I've never shared this with her actually. Well, there's a lot of things I haven't shared with her. So, <sighs> when we were dating, Pam had a lot of hoodies. So there's one hoodie that I still use up till today. She had given it to me when we were dating. It's a blue hoodie. It's it's a girl's hoodie. It's actually hers. It's not a girl's hoodie, actually. Really? No, it's a boy's hoodie. Okay, well, because it's doing from a girl, I assume it's a girl's hoodie. And I like it so much. It's unisex. So when I took it home, I did not wash it. Because at that point, I started liking her. <laughs> Never have I ever seen a handwritten letter I have okay and it was to this one and it wasn't even a handwritten letter it was a handwritten book, book. a book <laughs> <laughs> which I am very proud of okay I like writing and he was going away to Lesotho yes on mission 
so I thought oh let me just get this little notebook and I filled it up from beginning to end of just like the love letter Where after love book letter is? hopefully not lost so that book sits on my desk at work and oftentimes when I'm really really frustrated I open the book to see how amazing I am <laughs> It's just like a good reminder to tell me, like, dude, you got this. Yeah, so uh, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Never have I ever dated someone just for their looks. <coughs> the honest answer, the right answer to say is no. I have, and it was a complete nightmare. <laughs> How come I never hear these stories? <laughs> because when you are in the past, you are in the past. I never bring you up. Period. We'll discuss it after this video. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all we have time for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, comment, guys, if you if you enjoyed something in the video, please do leave a comment. Um, yeah, support local businesses. <laughs> With that being said, I will see you in my next video. And like the first video she says, welcome to me, welcome to you, <laughs> welcome to me. Oh, you see I watch your channel, I watch the channel. As you should. Well, yes, but I mean, yeah. Anyways, bye guys, be good, cheers for now. Bye. If you would like to see some of my true crime videos just check my playlist below labeled no so if you're interested in any of South African <laughs> so no, no, <laughs> no so if you would like 